What's going on, man? There's too, there's too, there's too much pushing to get to you. I know. <laughs> like your name. Your I know. Name this scrolls, thing. Your name scrolls, and then I missed your name, and then I got to go back. I got to find your name. These are first world problems, Goody Grace. <laughs> How you doing? Dude, I'm good, man. How are you? I'm good, man. It's a nice Wednesday morning. Oh, yeah, it's still morning. You're in L.A., right? Yeah, it's 10 a.m. <laughs> so jealous. By the way, uh, I know it's, what is it, 10 o'clock there? Mm-hmm. 10 o'clock there. Noon here, so never too early. Wow. Well, show our friends. I'm Jack a huge Daniels. Jack Daniels fan, man. I'm, I'm glad be, I yeah. didn't get a bottle for this. <laughs> Next time. We'll send you one. We'll send you a couple. Jack Daniels would love to send you some you, I would love that. How'd you get the Jack Daniels sponsorship? Uh, we did this whole thing, you know, they were, uh, they're one of our big music sponsors, um, for our sound studio that we have. And, uh, Oof. clearly we're not using that anytime soon, unfortunately, which something like this could have been done in person in our Jack Daniels right. sound studio. So the next best thing we'd get Jack Daniels at home and we just Amazing. hang out with you, with you lovely people. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So dude, real quick, man, like literally half hour ago. For the first time, mm -hmm. uh, I heard if I want to. Oh, thank you, man. You like it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate so, that. No, okay. So it's your party. You get high if you want to is going to be the new anthem. I hope you're prepared for this. Are man, you ready I hope so. Are you ready for this roller coaster ride that's about to happen? I hope so, man. It, it was like, yeah, I made that song fairly recently. I just, um, you know, I, I'm working on my debut album, so I put out Scumbag with Blink-182 in, um, in October of last year. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, this was just like the follow-up. So these will both be off my debut album. Um, so I, I hope that, you know, people continue to, to listen to them and they continue to grow and, and enjoy them. I'm, I'm really happy with the feedback on both of them. Yeah, no, I mean, Blink-182, I mean, legends, icons. Yeah. How did that feel when you found out Oh hey, by the way, no big deal. Just gonna be making a song with with Blink One Eighty Two. <laughs> well, it's funny. It's kind of funny how it happened. It, it it wasn't like um, it wasn't like that quick. Hey, my boy Beef saying here, yeah, shout out my boy Beef. Um, it wasn't that quick. It was like you know, I met I met Travis Barker um, a few years back backstage at a mutual friend's show, and then uh, we we followed each other and whatnot. I introduced myself to him and. Um, we we, we kind of like talked off and on for a year here and there, um, but never really hung out. And then later that year in um, in November, he messaged me on Twitter to come open for them um, for Blink in in Las Vegas for the last weekend of uh, they had a Vegas residency. Yeah. yeah. So then I went there, brought like all my best friends. We went out there. I played two shows with them. Um, it was incredible. I became good friends with both of them, and then. We got back to LA, and me and Travis have just kind of worked ever since. And he's been a huge help in my um, process on my album, and he drums all over it and everything. And um, wow, you know, it, it was kind of it was kind of interesting. I originally made the song "Scumbag," then I got him to drum on it, and then Mark had heard it. Um, Mark Hoppus, the singer and bass player, and um, then he ended up bobbing on it too. So all of a sudden, I was like, "Damn, I think I have a song with uh, with Blink One Eighty Two." <laughs> yeah, people that haven't heard it that are following us right now, go check out Scumbag. Wasting Time is the jam, too. Thank you, man. Yeah, that one came out right before Scumbag. I'm not sure if that'll be on the album or not, but that's just a really, like, I fully produced that one myself. I made it back home with my grandma's. I'm from a town called Selkirk in Manitoba, Canada. Um, not too, just, like, above Chicago, central time zone. Um, but I made that when I went back home on, like, a quick trip. And, you know, I think that's just, like, important. I like telling my story and kind of, like, really conveying how I feel and my thoughts. So uh, Wasting Time is one of those songs, as is if I want to. So I have, like, my personal, as a radio professional, um, way to describe your type of music. But for people that follow us that are just learning who, you know, Goody Grace is, how would you describe your sound? Um... I'm actually really excited to hear your radio professional take on it. But, you know, it's 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 kind of <laughs> tough. I think I make a bit of everything. And uh, I think at the base of it, I really like my stuff to just to just feel good and kind of be like cinematic and, and nostalgic feeling like 
you know, as as for feelings, as for genres, I think it's kind of genreless. And um, in ways, you know, some song might lean more hip hop than it next. And mm. the next song I have coming out is just a full acoustic like folk song um, that's coming out soon. That that's off the album. And then you know, Scumbags like a kind of alternative pop punky song. Um, it's funny. It's, it's pop punky because it's got Blink on it, but it kind of feels like a Pixie song or something to me. Um, so I just, man, I, I'm influenced by so many different types of music, and mm-hmm. I grew up on so many different types of music, and still listen to everything, and and really love everything. And I work with rappers as much as I work with, you know, um, people in in other types of music. So I think there's a bit of everything. I'm excited to hear how you'd explain it. <laughs> I, I came up with I came up with a phrase. If you want to borrow it, or if, if anybody that works at Wikipedia wants to steal it, uh-huh. we have to we have to categorize it over on the right hand column. Um, I call it blendy real AF. I like that a lot. Blendy real <laughs> AF. That's a new genre. We're gonna be blendy real AF. We're gonna be Chicago's number one blendy real AF station. I'm gonna change the whole. I'm gonna change everything. Look, I really I, I support <laughs> that, man. I think that like. You know, everybody's got like playlists that go from this to that, this to that, and they're all over the place. So I just kind of see it as like, if that's how people listen, and that's how I've always listened, and how I view music, then, you know, I think it's it it doesn't feel strange to make music like that, and it's right. still always my voice and my story and coming from me, and mm-hmm. um, so I think even if you know if the song sounds different music wise and instrument wise, I don't think they're always they're ever too far off in a strange way, right. So uh, it sounds really like beautiful and lovely and peaceful where you're at. The birds are are chirping away. Over it there. is. I know the birds are chirping. <laughs> it's beautiful. How actually. how ha- how is everything? Like how is quarantine been? How what's your routine? How have you what have you been doing anything to do? Man, it's been good. I I quarantined like really early. I feel like before it was crazy in the news because I was so scared about COVID nineteen just like upon even hearing about it. So I probably started quarantining like maybe March 7th or 8th. So I'm coming on two months of being locked away. Um, luckily, I, I, you know, I kind of live ish near the ocean. So like, I'll drive up to to the coast and kind of look at the sunset mostly every night to get out of the house. But other than that, I've just been locked away staring at my laptop, um, trying to finish my album. <laughs> that's good. I mean, that's that's a lot what I'm, I'm talking to a lot of artists. Um, and you know, that's what a lot of people are saying, Goody, is that this time is, it couldn't come at a better time because it's, it's, it's almost like forcing you to be creative, which is kind of an oxymoron, but it, it really truly is. Yeah. And you're, and you're <laughs> still focused on your own distractions. No, and, and I produce a lot of my music. So a lot of my music, the way that it gets completed is just me sitting there, spending the time staring at the laptop and um, doing a lot of like, you know, kind of meticulous annoying things that just have to get done so this is really the time for that and then outside of that i've been making a lot of like different beats and stuff um you know trying to just sending them around and um i just like having fun like as much as i like music for me i like making music that other people might use and um you know i've been reading a lot of books just kind of like tucked away i'm kind of like a nerd so this is my time to to shine with that aspect (laughs) I'm so jealous of people like you thriving during quarantine. I need to get the F out of the house every second I can, and I, I just can't. So kudos yeah. to you. So, it's hey, tough, uh, so, yeah, the real question that everybody wants to know, um, you know, it's it's on everybody's mind right now, and it has to do with inside of that home behind you. Um, is it, do you prefer uh, peanut butter or creamy um, peanut, <laughs> peanut crunchy or creamy peanut butter? What do you prefer? That's the big I, question. <laughs> I prefer creamy. I don't think I'm a big crunchy peanut butter guy. Are you sure you want to go? Are you sure you want to go with that? This is gonna be all over the tabloids. I'm sure. And to be okay. honest, I'm actually not really a peanut butter guy. If I am mixing something like that around, it's probably Nutella. <laughs> okay. Fun fact. Um, I've had I'm a, a big lot Nutella of, guy. I've had a lot of Jack right in my life. Mm-hmm. Not once Nutella gone in this in this mouth right here you've never the big goose egg oh man you gotta go you gotta go make some like toast or like a bagel or something and put nutella on it i swear your life will be changed i know that's what i'm hearing um so have you been to chicago before or oh many times yeah yeah i actually love chicago um 
I think it's it's actually my most listened to city for like a couple of years now on Spotify. That's awesome. Um, yeah, they've always really loved me there. I mean, I played sub T like probably six times. Um, what? Yeah, I love it. Nobody let me know. <laughs> I played subterranean twice last year. That's amazing. That's actually, in in um in May and then in November, I played House of Blues. I, I played all over there. I played Lollapalooza in 2017. Um, but I'm a big fan of Chicago, man. A lot of my favorite bands are from there and stuff. So I, I, I think I just really like, um, kind of connect with the Midwest a lot because I'm from Manitoba, mm -hmm. which is right in that kind of lane. So I really mm -hmm. like spending time there. I'd like to be there more. Dude, I can't wait till you can come back and perform. And me maybe too, man. I was supposed to be there, um, in like the next week or two. Mm -hmm. Um, I had to, you know, unfortunately, like everybody postpone my tour but it was supposed to start yesterday and i was going to be coming to chicago but next right time it'll be a great time and I, I love coming through chicago i think that's where i've honestly had my like best shows dude this is so good to know because now we definitely got to have you in and and do a whole thing and we'll we'll chill for sure so dude i would appreciate love to the time. appreciate the time um goody grace before we let you go mm -hmm. um since it's the old number seven brand i'm gonna do seven quick questions perfect and but this is really cute, right? My girlfriend got this for me when we first started dating. It's like, it's, it's, it's for relationships, but me and you are getting to know each other kind of. So <laughs> cool. I promise it won't be too weird, but it's like, like best, it. like you, you, you and should, should look into getting this. Cause it's really cool to have, like to get to know each other on a deeper level. So uh, you ready? What does your five, what does your five year plan look like? Um, making music. <laughs> That's, that's it. That, that's all you need to, what beliefs do you have about yourself that resulted from childhood? Resulted from childhood? Mm -hmm. Um, I really like punk music, mm -hmm. um, which has maybe made me, um, hmm, I don't know. I didn't, I wasn't like good at school. And I think that might've resulted from like liking so much punk music. Mm. <laughs> that makes sense. Is it mm. important to you to live close to your family? Um, not necessarily because I visit home a lot and uh, I'm on FaceTime a lot and everything. So it's cool. What's your ideal romantic vacation? Um, I like being in the snow. So probably just going to my hometown and like freezing my ass off. Is it is it pretty up there? Oh yeah, man, and it's like yeah. winter all year. It's like it's really really great. It's like the Arctic, pretty much. It's like frozen. What's currently yeah. keeping you up at night, causing you stress? Uh, COVID nineteen. <laughs> I feel like this answer is going to be that the same for the next twenty years. Um, yeah, I'm just worried about everyone, man. I'm, I'm you know thinking about everyone, all my family up north, and uh, all my yeah. friends and stuff. I haven't seen people for a couple months, so yeah. Two months. It's crazy how two months feels like five years, right? Yeah, absolutely. Two more here. What's the craziest thing you've ever done, and would you do it again? Um, hmm. That's a tough question. I'm going to shout out the sponsor and say I've drank a lot of Jack Daniels in my life, and I would probably do it again. <laughs> I'm with you. And then last question uh, with Goody Grace. What's your biggest pet peeve? Hmm. My biggest pet peeve is negative people. I'm yes. a pretty positive person. Yes. I like to I like to keep the good vibes going. I, I don't like people that are just down us. <laughs> what's your what's your sign? I'm a Gemini. Okay. My birthday's next month. Uh we gotta celebrate. How old are you gonna be? Twenty three, which is oh, great because okay. I had the first feature ever a few months ago of blink 182 and the huge song obviously says nobody likes you when you're 23 so let, dude you only have a couple you only have a month left before people i know it sucks. <laughs> true um dude awesome chatting with you if you had one piece of advice for people that are infatuated with uh age differences in relationship um what would you what would you say to them um i'd say go stream if i want to out now <laughs> <laughs> thanks bro. good answer dude hey man it was a pleasure uh chatting with you i can't wait to hang in chicago and uh, perfect man me too
and keep keep the keep those songs coming in. And when's the I album? I will, man. You know? uh, this fall. In fall? Okay. Look forward to it, bro. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much.